so one of the things that they never tell you about filmmaking and videos and all that stuff is the days that come after the shoots. So I've been sitting here today for the most part, except for a few things I had to do going out and running a few errands. I've been sitting right here. Uh, my computer's right here. It's kind of off camera. You can't see it. And all I've been doing is transcoding and organizing footage, sending clients footage via Dropbox or backing it up or whatever, just like having the stuff, backing up all this footage, organizing. And uh, me specifically have never been a strong suit, so I really have to push myself to sit down and do it. When I was walking back from one of the things, I watched these guys who are skateboarding. Uh, and one of the guys had an old school Hi8 video camera with the uh, old school bubble wide angle lens slapped on the front of it. I found it in my mom's closet. <laughs> dude, I respect the hell out of that, man. That's like Thanks. so dope, dude. The little Sailor Moon sticker. Yeah, dude. Produce these old school skate videos from when I was a kid. Probably a lot of people haven't seen these unless you're like really into skating and you know like the past kind of stuff. I'll find some clips online and slap them here. <laughs> think about how it's not about the gear it's just about going out and doing it and that's why I'm doing this so I guess today's video because it's not really a, like I mean it's a vlog but it's not as much of a vlog as it has been it's just today was a day where I just sat around and nobody wants to watch that on camera I just wanted to talk to you about how that stuff doesn't matter the gear doesn't matter this 70d that I have or the a7s all these expensive lenses that I have here that I use you know they're just things that I use. You have to use them to get good stuff. So if you're sitting at home and you got just the Hi8 camera, the guy, you'll see it in the video, he straight up says he found it in his mom's closet. That was the coolest thing I've heard in so long. I'm very lucky that I have stuff like this, monitors and just, you know, a lot of gear that helped me get really good footage. But in the end of the day, it's all about just getting the footage. So I just thought that was really awesome that I saw those kids doing that and I walked over there and I like asked them if I could film them and I talked to them really quick and just you know, gave them a quick fist bump and I was like, yo man, this is dope, like keep doing this. And I think that's really important. Um, and I wanted to tell a quick story. For anyone that watches this, I think my highest viewed is like 92 views, which thank you guys, I appreciate that. Uh, but the reason why I'm doing the vlog is to keep pushing myself to make videos. Uh, I make other people's videos, but I was not making things for myself. And I figured why not do it every day until at least for a year. It's just a challenge to challenge myself. Uh, but I wanted to tell a story how this camera right here, it's a Canon T3i. This camera helped me make hundreds of videos. Even by today's standards, it's like a $400 camera with a Tamron 10 to 24 lens that was another like three, $400 when I got it. Uh, it's broken now. The camera still works, but the lens is kind of busted up, but I put it through its paces. This thing helped me make two videos that went absolutely viral. One got 300,000 views, another one got 150,000 views. A bunch of other ones that have gotten like five, ten thousand. 10,000. Uh, and by some regards, this, people think this is a piece of crap, but it isn't. And I mean, it still works and I keep it around just in case anything ever happened to this camera or one of these cameras, I can, I can always have it. But just seeing those guys made me remember what it's like to make something with just the bare bones of what you have. Uh, and I just wanted to share that with people in the sense of, it doesn't matter what kind of equipment you have, it's really easy to get stuck in that trap of like, oh, I need to get the new, this new drone, or I need to get this new lens before I can make something. Screw that. I've been stuck in that idea, and I think a lot of people get stuck in that. Don't sit around and wait for the next piece of gear. There's always gonna be new gear. Always stuff coming out constantly. DJI is like the new version of Apple where they come out with a new iteration every time. You're like, oh crap, I need that now, I need that now, I need that. No, don't wait to make it. Make it, learn from the project, and move on. It's really important, and that's something that I'm learning here in the vlog, and I just want to express that to people that care about camera gear and maybe people who don't even care and are just watching me make a fool of myself on camera which I hope you're entertained is just to know that just go out and make it that's the most important thing that's my vlog for the day thanks for watching subscribe like comment let me know if you like stuff like this or just comment and say hey Scott I'll get back to filming stuff we want to see you rip your pants open okay that's I as long as you tell me I'll see what I can do <laughs> you got the double camera, Chris. <laughs>